sort of advice do you give young people who are just coming out of school and entering the business world and looking to rise to the top? That's a great question. I mean, I think, I think there's tons of good advice. I blog about that a lot. I think if I, if I could just say like two quick things on it, one is I'd say stay humble because um, I think it's really easy, especially if you're you know, just out of college, maybe you're like a rock star there, maybe you, know, you played a sport or you were captain of a team or um, you know, just like an academic all-star in some way and you get into a job and you assume it's gonna be like that and you're like, okay, you know, I'm like kicking butt at this, like where's my raise or my promotion? And I would say just, and I think you don't, you still wanna be ambitious, I think that's great, but just temper it with a little bit of humility and, and I still do this to this day and I'm you know, quite a bit more advanced in my career than when I was right out of college, but I always think, you know, okay, let me learn a little bit about this environment and who I'm working with and what are some things that maybe I need to pay attention to that I don't know that are going to make me a better person and a better professional. So I would say just having that humility and, and you know, open yourself up to continuous learning. And the second thing, and this is one I say because I still struggle with it, is I think it really pays to be adaptable. I think, I think so often, right, we're so driven towards like a certain thing and then you know, in the real world, it, not everything's linear. <laughs> not everything runs in this organized, you know, sort of clockwork way. And I think it really pays to be able to shift course and change direction when you need to or when the situation changes. And for me, that's taken me a long time to learn. And like I said, I still sometimes struggle with it. Um, but I think it's hugely beneficial, especially when you get into um, really like cutting edge work where it's not exactly known the direction you're going to go, you know, and you kind of have to fool around a little bit around the edges of ideas and, and the way things work to really shape it. If you have that flexibility, I think you'll get farther faster. And really with technology changing so quickly, people's jobs are changing. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Constantly. Yeah, that's so great. So I always say, so someone emailed me recently and said, I'm starting a new job. What's your advice? And I said, get really clear on expectations. Um, they're in a management position and then they have a manager. I said, get clear on expectations with the people you manage, but also with your supervisor, you know, so that you're aligned. But, you know, be willing in a month, a day, a year, things might change radically. And I think you have to roll with the punches. And when people, especially supervisors, see that you can do that, they know that you're kind of the person they can call on for those situations. And I think that helps you get tapped as a leader earlier on.